Welcome back everyone. We're here again for another Mass Planner video tutorial. This time we're going to talk about how to use the Group Finder tool. From the Tools page, you'll see what tools are available for each platform. You'll see here that the Finder tool is available for Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. All three of them have almost the same options. The only thing different is that on Facebook, you also have a page finder, which follows the same concept as that of a group finder. But as an example for this video tutorial, we are going to look at the Google Plus group finder. So let's click on More Tools. On the Finder tab, you can configure the settings for your search. You may type in a keyword or keywords separated by a comma. You may also exclude keywords from your search. You can skip groups with more than a certain number of users, so you can input a value here. If you leave it at zero, it's just going to ignore it. You can also skip groups with less than a number of certain users. Again, if you leave it at zero, it's just going to ignore it. Then you have the option to set the number of groups you want to get for your keyword. Next, the option to clear the results when starting a new search. You may also ignore the groups that you are already a member of. Lastly, you may indicate the tag for the group before you send them to group joiner. When you're finished setting up your parameters, you may then start your group finder. When it's done searching for the groups, the results will be displayed here. You can start manually choosing the groups you want by ticking the checkbox. You may also choose select all and it's going to choose all the groups. Another way of selecting the groups is by going through advanced selection. Here you can filter the groups that you want to join by specifying the number of users, minimum users and maximum users. Let's say we want a minimum of 50 users and a maximum of 100 users. It's going to display those groups and then just choose select all and it will automatically select those groups from the list. After you have selected your groups, you may now send them to joiner. So that is how the group finder tool for Google Plus works. Let's look at the Facebook group finder tool tool real quick. As you can see, it has the same options as the one that we saw on the Google Plus Group Finder tool. The only difference is it has an option to get only open groups. This one is only available for the Group Finder tool of Facebook. That's it. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye!